Good happy Sunday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this extended edition of the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. We will be broadcasting live here from 6 o'clock a.m. until noon time today, bringing you storm coverage and keeping you safe in the storm. We have lots of stuff to talk about this morning, so let's begin. We're going to start off with meteorologist Josh Judge, icy mix in southern New Hampshire, heavy snow up north. Let's take a listen to that video from meteorologist Josh Judge. Good Sunday, I'm meteorologist Josh Judge with an update for you on the storm and the rain snow line moving across the state from south to north through the day. There's a look at the system itself. We'll zoom back in and show you that rain snow line that will be moving northward through the morning hours. And that pink is freezing rain, maybe a little sleep mixed in, and that could cause some icing concerns, which could even lead to power concerns, particularly as the wind picks up later today and into tonight. The rain snow line may not cross the White Mountains, but as you can see, it does get into parts of central New Hampshire as well. This cutting down snowfall amounts drastically in parts of southeastern New Hampshire in particular. And then it all comes to an end this afternoon into tonight, and we shift focus to very windy and cold conditions. Here's a look at the icing potential going through the morning. Up to a quarter inch, or even in some spots, a half inch of ice is not out of the question because of this freezing rain, and that could be a real concern from the uh, power outage standpoint or downed trees. So keep this in mind, that the ice may be end up being a big part of this storm for southern New Hampshire. Feels like temperatures. They are going to be cold all day today, but watch what happens when we get into tonight and tomorrow. Single digits out there right now uh, through the day today. But as we get into tonight, the temperatures drop to overnight lows, either side of zero, and wind chill values 10, 20, 25 below zero, even 30 below zero as you see right there. And that continues all day Monday. Monday will be a very, very cold, frigid, windy day with high temperatures only in the single digits and feels like temperatures 10 to 30 below zero. So get ready for that, the second stage of the storm. So highs for today, teens north, 20s everywhere else. Tonight, as you go, these are without the wind chills factored in, down near zero or below. Patriots forecast for tonight, much milder by comparative standards, but still a cold one. 21 degrees for kickoff and in the upper teens for the end of the game. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, these are your high temperatures without the wind. That's amazingly cold, and then the wind chill values make it much colder. So today, it's snow and an icy mix of freezing rain and rain. And then Monday, frigid and cold. Things calm down a little bit for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. More mixed showers, a good likelihood. That is your forecast Stay tuned for updates to WMUR and WMUR.com. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report from meteorologist Josh Judge. And we will listen to him throughout the morning right here on this broadcast. The weather right now is um, snow with some icy mix, 12 degrees. And let's take a look at that hourly forecast for all of you right now. And here's a look at that hourly forecast. As you can see, at 7 a.m., it's going to be freezing rain, 8 a.m., freezing rain, 9 a.m., freezing rain, 10 a.m., freezing rain, 11 a.m., freezing rain, and noontime, freezing rain. And temps will be 16, 18, 18, and we'll get into the 20s around mid-morning. So, get ready for that freezing rain, and it could make things even more slippier on those roadways. 
Today, icy conditions with periods of freezing rain, high 26 degrees, winds north-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, chance of percent 100%, snow and ice accumulation 1 to 3 inches. Tonight, overcast, very cold, 2 degrees, winds northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And there are 434 closings to pass along this morning. If you want to see that complete list, just go to WMUR.com. There are four weather alerts as well. Let's take a look at those weather alerts. And here are those four weather alerts. An aviation warning at Manchester Boston Regional Airport. Coastal flood warning. Winter storm warning. And those are your alerts. If you want to read more on those alerts, just go to WMUR.com. And let's take a look at the roadways and airlines right now. Give me one minute. So, here's a look at the roadways this morning for all of you. As you can see, we're seeing a lot of yellow roadways and a lot of red roadways on all around New Hampshire. A long green stretch here, but a lot of red and yellow. If you don't need to go on those roadways, just stay home until the whole storm is gone. And let's see how your flights at Manchester Boston Regional Airport looks like on the arrivals. A few on time, but a lot of cancelled flights. And for departures, a few on time flights, but more cancelled flights. So, if you're planning on traveling today, just check in with your airline to see if your flight is cancelled or will be on time. But a lot of canceled ones. <laughs> I see may accumulate in southern New Hampshire. Heavy snow continue up north. Let's take a listen to this video from Kevin and Josh. Good Sunday, I'm meteorologist Josh Judge with an update for you on the storm and the rain snow line moving across the state from south to north through the day. There's a look at the system itself. We'll zoom back in and show you that rain snow line that will be moving northward through the morning hours. And that pink is freezing rain, maybe a little sleep mixed in, and that could cause some icing concerns, which could even lead to power concerns, particularly as the wind picks up later today and into tonight. The rain snow line may not cross the White Mountains, but as you can see, it does get into parts of central New Hampshire as well. This cutting down snowfall amounts drastically in parts of southeastern New Hampshire in particular. And then it all comes to an end this afternoon into tonight, and we shift focus to very windy and cold conditions. Here's a look at the icing potential going through the morning. Up to a quarter inch, or even in some spots, a half inch of ice is not out of the question because of this freezing rain, and that could be a real concern from the uh, power outage standpoint or downed trees. So keep this in mind, that the ice may be end up being a big part of this storm for southern New Hampshire. Feels like temperatures. They are going to be cold all day today, but watch what happens when we get into tonight and tomorrow. Single digits out there right now uh, through the day today. But as we get into tonight, the temperatures drop to overnight lows, either side of zero, and wind chill values 10, 20, 25 below zero, and even 30 below zero as you see right there. And that continues all day Monday. Monday will be a very, very cold, frigid, windy day with high temperatures only in the single digits and feels like temperatures 10 to 30 below zero. So get ready for that, the second stage of the storm. So highs for today, teens north, 20s everywhere else. Tonight, as you go, these are without the wind chills factored in, down near zero 
or below. Patriots forecast for tonight, much milder by comparative standards, but still a cold one. 21 degrees for kickoff and in the upper teens for the end of the game. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, these are your high temperatures without the wind. That's amazingly cold, and then the wind chill values make it much colder. So today, it's snow and an icy mix of freezing rain and rain. And then Monday, frigid and cold. Things calm down a little bit for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. More mixed showers, a good likelihood. That is your forecast. Stay tuned for updates to WMUR and WMUR.com. Okay, and there you go. So, get ready for when the icy mix comes our way. The ice and freezing rain. Highway speeds reduced as heavy snow falls across New Hampshire. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9, Tim Callery. Okay, looks like we're having a little technical difficulties with this video. Sorry about that, Brian. Homewood's Furniture and Design Center is having a truckload sale of reclining furniture at unprecedented prices. The snow started to push in on the western part of the state Saturday evening. Shortly after its arrival, it was sticking to the roads. A coating of snow sat on streets in downtown Lebanon, and it was a similar situation on I-89 where the speed limit was reduced to 45 miles per hour. But before it all began, it was a race against time at the 93 rest stop as people fueled up on their way to their long weekend destinations, trying to get there ahead of the storm. Many are heading north and are excited to have fresh snow for the slopes. It's fun. We, uh, we were planning to go skiing anyway, so uh, this makes it that much better skiing. Some here are happy with the timing of this storm. Arriving on a weekend means there's no worry about school or work for most. Not a big hassle. Drive back Monday night. Um, you know, just hunker down and uh, stay at the house and take it easy. Uh, but do the skiing first. So snow on the weekends is good. But the threat of several inches piling up made for a busy day at the Hanover True Value, which is stocked with winter supplies. It's been off and on today, but uh, it's been more often than not. We've had a good stream of customers coming in, so... What are people buying? Mostly shovels. And the shop will be open Sunday for anyone who waits last minute or finds themselves with a busted shovel or broken snowblower. And we have procedure actually to operate even without power. So no matter what, if they need something, come on in. And you can see right there the state warning drivers tonight. Watch your speed on the roads as they are slick. We just had a, actually a couple plows come by some New Hampshire highways the speed limit is down to 45 miles per hour so you want to keep an eye on that also there are a number of parking bans in effect in multiple cities and towns across the state so you want to check with uh, the area where you live reporting live here in Manchester I'm Tim Callery WMUR News 9 okay and there you go on that video and that report so if you do go out there keep your speeds low But it is going to be a slick day out there. That's for sure. Um, New Hampshire Homeland Security and Management posted um, 21 minutes ago. They wrote, Winter storm today, 8 to 18 inches of snow expected statewide with sleet or freezing rain possible in coastal slash southern areas astronomical high tides may bring am coastal flooding also send us your photos of your or in videos of the snow and what it looks like in your area we want to see those photos and share them with our viewers
and speed limits on the highways are lowered to 45 miles per hour on I-89, Concord to Vermont, S slash L, I-93, Hooksett North, D3, and I-93, Concord North, D3. So if you do go out, speed limits will be lower. And don't crowd the plow, everyone. Please avoid traveling when you are on the road. Remember to move over and give emergency personnel a wide breath and keep our roads safe for everyone. Avoid all unnecessary travel. If you must travel, drive slow and leave extra space. And let's take a look at this video from Raver. He took a live stream video of the scene in his area. Let's take a look. So as you see there, and a delivery alert for the union leader. Due to road conditions, we may be late delivering today's paper, or we may be unable to deliver in some areas. We invite you to read today's edition by visiting unionleader.com or clicking e-edition. Continue to visit our page during the day for the latest news, photos, and videos. Thank you for your participation patients in BC. And let's take a look at this video that Siobhan Lopez took. She is at Hampton Beach today. Let's take a look at the video. Very windy there. Let's take a look at this video that Andy Hirschberger did. Hey everybody, it's uh, Andy Hirschberger and I'm here live on Facebook Live here in uh, Ashland. I'm at the Circle K just off the Route 93 interchange. Uh, the snow is really coming down. It is a very snowy morning uh, Sunday and you can see that's a little bit better. We're get a little bit of light in the uh, in the shot and you can see that the, the kind of the rate of snowfall fall and the kind of snow that it actually is I'm gonna turn this thing around so you can take a look that uh, it's a very fine snow it's not heavy at all this morning when I uh, was snow blowing myself out uh, in the southern area of the state it was not hard to move there was uh, you know, a, a lot had already fallen by about 1 a.m. Uh, we had a, a few inches, but uh, it wasn't hard to move. It wasn't the sticky stuff. It wasn't the stuff that uh, that really weighs things down, clogs things up. It was very easy to move. Now, the roads this morning are not terrific. Uh, they are, uh, you know, they're, they're, they have been plowed, and we saw, the good news is we saw many many plow trucks out on the road uh, heading from Manchester north on 93 uh, all the way up here to exit 24 in Ashland you can see a car going by there it is posted 45 on all highways this morning it is uh, you know it is it is it can be dangerous you have to be careful out there um, but if you absolutely have to go someplace uh, the plow trucks have been out they are out and they're making the roads uh, at least uh, as, as passable as, as can be, given as much snow uh, as is falling. So yeah, this is Route 25 that goes from Ashland uh, down into the Meredith area through Holderness. You can see over there, maybe in the distance a little bit, uh, there's private flowers who are taking care of parking lots. And uh, yeah, they're gonna be busy today. They're gonna be working throughout the day because they're expecting even more snow. 
so um, yeah, if you have to drive, if you have to go out, uh, excuse me again there, uh, be very careful. Uh, it is it is a pretty significant snowstorm. So drive carefully. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Uh, beware of plows. Give them plenty of room. And you know, in general, it's Sunday. If you can stay home, stay home. Be safe out there. This is Andy Hershberger on Facebook Live from Ashland, and we'll uh, we'll see you later. Okay, and there you go on that video from Andy Hershberger. So again, just stay home if you don't need to go anywhere. Simple as that. And let's take a listen to this video. Um, Channel Nine was talking to DOT Transportation, Bill Boykin. So let's take a listen to that video and listen in. Yes, uh, typical driving conditions pretty much statewide at this hour. Our DOT crews have been out uh, all night since early uh, last evening. No major incidents or road closures at this hour, but as has been reported, uh, uh, there's downposting of all major highways to 45 miles per hour. Uh, and... Um, we have virtually no traffic, as has also been reported. There's just the snow plows out there, which really helps them do their job. And that preparation bill, th that started a couple of days ago for this incoming storm. Can you talk about that? Well, we thought there was going to be a storm on Friday morning with a couple of inches, one of those morning commute storms, which really uh, kind of fell apart. But uh, so all of the plows were mounted as of uh, Thursday night and, and trucks were loaded up. It didn't look like it for most of the time that this was going to be a a storm where we're going to use any salts, but it's starting to look more and more like we we need to do some treatment, at least in the southern part of the state. And, and there is some concern about temperatures plunging later on and, and the salt being less effective at that point. Now, is this the type of storm that you would pre-treat for? Were you guys out before this storm? Uh, there was no pre-treatment because of the cold temperatures and there has been residual salt on the highways. So uh, you don't want to create a skating rink out there by putting a brine mix out there with water on, on cold uh, pavement. So no no pre-treatment, but this, at least up until this point, very plowable snow. And uh, we talk uh, this time of year often about how drivers should behave when the plows are out. How, how is that working? Are drivers getting the hang of that, leaving room for the plow and not cutting them off and all that? Absolutely. And, and of course, in general, uh, you just need to adjust to winter driving conditions uh, and, you know, give more time to get to your destination. We're actually hoping that people will, will limit or avoid travel for much of the day today and, and think about football. But uh, at the same time, if you do go out and give yourself more time, these plows are weigh 60,000 pounds. They have limited visibility. Uh, you need to let, let them do their jobs and give them the space they need. All right, Bill Boyden from the New Hampshire Department of Transportation. Thanks for chatting with us this morning. That's the lesson here. Uh, don't crowd the plow. Mm -hmm. Something else to think about is the snow. Okay, and we will be sure to keep you updated on DOT people as well. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break, everyone, and we will be back with more information. Don't go anywhere. Again, this is extended edition of the Riley King Newscast from 6 a.m. all the way until noontime. You can watch us here. And we're going to go take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back, and um, hopefully we can show you a look outside our studio windows. When we come back from commercial break, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 